you guys another day another video so I want to do a update on my Studebaker so <laughs> I took the car out for a drive on Sunday <laughs> having a ball trying to get the uh, tune down on the uh, gold box and I was just not really paying attention to boost just kind of making global changes to the fuel map just trying to get it right and I pulled back into the driveway and I uh, actually looked at my logs and looked at my uh, peak boost and I had 0% duty cycle on my boost controller but I was seeing 18 pounds of pressure and it wasn't really creeping or anything like that but I was like man I can't get this stupid boost controller you know this this darn darn wastegate um, I can't get it to control the boost so I you know I <laughs> couldn't fall asleep and, you know, I was thinking about, man, I'm going to have to modify this turbo manifold, and how am I going to do that, and, and um, that's really going to suck, and, you know, I'm going to have to cut it off here and relocate it, and then make it so the uh, turbo sits on top of the manifold so that I can stick the wastegate out, and trying to get priority flow, and I'm just going crazy, and... You know, didn't get very good sleep, then <laughs> thought about it all day at work, and, and just thinking about how I'm going to modify this thing, get home, start working on the Nova, still thinking about it, and come down here last night with my dad, and just kind of talking about how I want to modify it, and he's, you know, eh, I don't know, you know, and I look down and I find this so <laughs> there's my boost control problem so this guy was sitting roughly right there and a little bit of heat got to it and what do you know that's my boost control issue so that's the way it goes sometimes um, just wanted to share that with you guys hope you get a laugh out of it you know sometimes you're like so fixated on something and you just don't realize hey <laughs> the solution's right in front of your face so um, just wanted to give you guys a little update and so I'm gonna be relocating that and um, hopefully I can get my boost controller to actually control and this thing on 18 psi i mean i was planning to go there anyways this thing moves it's it's a lot of fun to drive um so i want to do a uh, compression check and a leak down check just to make sure everything's cool it won't really idle right um it, it just all of a sudden stopped idling right and um i did find a spark plug that the uh, porcelain was cracked on um so th that um, baffled me for a little while, but I think uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, worst case, got another one sitting there, so that would suck, but hey. Um, so I, I forgot to mention this in some previous updates. Um, the car is registered for Drag Week, so I, I got in. The event sold out in 4 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, and some fast typing and um, we're in so uh, I'm super excited about that um, next update um, I was looking for a harmonic damper um, that's SFI approved because you're supposed to have those when you uh, start going uh, I believe it's tens um, so I was looking for that and um, I found there's like one Believe it or not, there's one company that uh, sells SFI dampers. And 
uh, I contacted the company. They put me in contact with the one guy that distributes them. And come to find out, uh, the guy that distributes them is the guy whose build um, inspired me to do this uh, engine swap. Uh, before he did his, uh, his Firebird, um, I believe it was a Firebird, it might have been a Camaro. Um, before he did that swap, I, I didn't even know these engines existed. Uh, and I, I was really into the, the 250 inline sixes and uh, saw his article in CarCraft and I'm like, what on earth is that? And um, <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of neat. Um, but he uh, uh, told me all about the harmonic damper and the company call is called BHJ, BHJ. Um, and they actually make a improved damper um, that, believe it or not, lets you rev these engines to 7,000 RPMs. So I'll, I'll go all into that uh, on my next video, but um, it's, it's pretty exciting. That's one of the hang-ups that people have with these is uh, um, you can't rev them, and this, this potentially could let us do that. So. All right, catch you guys.